Hi everyone, it's Diana Palm, The Love Witch, and today we're going to be talking about how to let go so that you can attract abundance. Now, first of all, you have to understand what to let go of because many of you don't realize how many negative or limiting beliefs that you have in your subconscious running around money blocking your money. Many of my clients that I've worked with actually blame their ex-spouse for taking their money or blame the government for charging too much in taxes. And this consumes a lot of their conversations and a lot of their mental energy, as well as a lot of their abundant energy. Every time you complain about having to pay too much or having to overpay somebody from your past or talk about your debt or worry about your debt or complain about your taxes, inflation, the cost of housing, you're limiting your consciousness around money. Instead of focusing on the fear-based reality around prices going up, income going down, think about how you can manifest more and more opportunities in your life. Now, I know this is easier said than done because I work with people's subconscious belief systems every single day. And it's very interesting when I get in there and find the different energies, the different belief systems and patterns connected to the inability to make more money, the inability to let go, the reasoning behind why we hang on so tightly to our poverty consciousness and our limit and lack story. It's a beautiful thing to get in there and find out where your money roots are tied to, where your storylines are tied to. Because most people talk about this, they talk about letting go in order to attract more abundance in your life. But first, let's clear up. What is abundance? Is it abundance of the chaos in your life? Is it abundance of the trouble you have going on in your life? Is it abundance of worry and concern or abundance of complaining, abundance of feeling lack? When you are manifesting for abundance, it is extremely important that you have clarity about what it is you're actually pointing that abundance at. Now, while we can manifest all day long, and there are many positive, empowering mindset tricks to help you attract more abundance into your life, you can point that at abundance of money, you can point it at abundance of opportunity, abundance of love, abundance of friendship, and you can implement a lot of manifesting techniques to bring this into your life. But the most powerful way, the most transformative way, and the most permanent way is to actually get into your subconscious and find out why you have created your reality the way you have, what patterns you're currently living under, and then clearing the subconscious blocks and limits that have caused this paradigm, this lifestyle for you as you currently know it. When you can get into that subconscious and have those belief systems and energetic patterning cleared for you, that is the utmost way to let go and then attract. It's as if you don't even have to focus on manifesting to attract because as soon as you let go of the belief systems that are negative or holding you back, the flow rushes into your life. And it does come in all beneficial ways because you have raised your vibration. Now I talk about raising your love vibration all the time. You can raise your money consciousness vibration. Money and love are actually very, very similar energies. Because when you truly raise your love vibration, you're coming in a place of more self-love, self-worth, knowing your purpose in your life, and that attracts abundance of money. That attracts abundance of health, wealth, and prosperity. Loving yourself is the first place you should always start because most belief systems around money are created from undervaluing self. That's why so many people don't feel worthy of having their own abundance. They marry for money. They steal money. They try to take another person's belongings by theft or desiring it or coveting what somebody else has instead of understanding the true power comes from within. That when you love yourself, when you expand your energy, when you raise your vibration, you literally attract in everything that your heart desires. And there's plenty for everyone. All of those lower energy vibrations, the fear, the doubt, the lack of consciousness, the theft, the desiring what somebody else has, the jealousy, the envy, all of those low vibrations, 
keep you in a very competitive energy, which reinstills the belief system that there's lack, there's not enough to go around. Therefore, you must take what somebody else has or desire what somebody else has as if you're not good enough to create it on your own. So I want you to think about that and how you can get in here with self-love. Get in here and raise your love vibration so that you truly can clear and let go of the limiting beliefs that have blocked your money, your abundance, and your love. Right now, we're actually in a time where there is so much focus on this energy as things are shifting in our global awareness and people really need access to this help. So what I've decided to do is a very unique offering where I will be coming on live on YouTube four times in January to clear subconscious blocks and limits around money so that you truly can get into the energy of opportunities, self-love, and manifesting abundance properly for the new year. These are activated healings. They will be clearing subconscious programs that have been holding you back in terms of your money. Let go, right? Let go so that you can attract what it is you want. I will be providing my spiritual healing live on YouTube four times in January each Tuesday at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. Now this is available for members only. In order to become a member, this is different than a subscription. Subscriptions are free, but in order to receive access to my healings, it's $49 a month to become a member. And every Tuesday at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time, I will be going live to tune in with you and clear subconscious blocks and limits to help you let go and help you attract more money into your life. At only $49 a month, I know that you can afford this. You can invest into clearing these blocks and limits so that you can move ahead and have a more prosperous year in 2022. Spirit has guided me to do this and I'm really happy to be able to open this opportunity up to a wider audience and be able to bring in some spiritual healing as a collective to connect and clear the subconscious blocks and limits. For those of you that are working on Tuesdays and you're not able to tune in with us live, you will still be able to access the full potential of the healing through the replay. My spiritual healing is activated for the time that you hear it. All you have to do is tune in with it and consciously say yes to the programs I'm clearing and yes to the programs you're receiving. And in doing so, you can receive it either live or during the replay. And in fact, if you're able to watch it live and watch the replay later to just anchor it in more and get more into that energy, then that's available for you too. My members will have unlimited access to my activated healings on my YouTube channel. This will be the four Tuesdays in January, beginning on January 4th. So be sure to become a member of my YouTube channel in order to take advantage of this very, very special offer at only $49. If you love it and you receive a lot of benefits, which I know you will, then you'll probably want to stay a member in February because we're going to knock out a bunch of blocks to love. We're going to let go of a bunch of blocks and limits around your love life, about you receiving more love, and filling you up with the ability to really truly love yourself and attract love from others. So be sure you watch for that as well. If you're excited about this opportunity, give me a big old like below. And also put in the comments below what you most want to manifest for the new year what your heart desires, what you most want to change. This may be different than New Year's resolutions because New Year's resolutions are all about getting rid of something and limiting us or restricting us, or it feels like loss in so many ways. But when we're manifesting, we're going towards the positive. So put in the comments what you would like to manifest for yourself, what you would like to create for yourself in the new year. As always, I'm so happy to support you here on my channel because I wanna see you all manifest the life and the love you deserve.